Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever and wherever you are. This is Coach Lee, and we're working on speech anxiety in all its forms. And we're talking with Akini. Say hello, Akini. Hello. And Akini is from Georgia, as in the state of Georgia in the U.S. And she told us originally that she stuttered from age five and then she stuttered in 70 percent of her conversations i'll use that word or we could say situations speech situations but i'll say conversations 70 percent and and that during those 70 percent she had a problem with 90 percent of her words before we started this um so this recording, I asked her the same questions, and she told me, and she'll correct me if I'm wrong, that she has reduced the bad incidents, of the bad speech situations, situations in which she appears speech disabled, from 70% to 20%. So instead of 7 out of 10, it's 1 out of 5. In those bad incidents, she has reduced the percentage of words she had a problem with from 90% to 40%. Now, she came to us um, uh, fairly, fairly early in 2023. And so, and I, talked, I personally have not talked to Akini many times. I talked to her a couple times, two or three times in 23, 2023, and in 2024, uh, she, she, she disappeared on me, and, but, but she made progress, but for whatever reason, um, she dropped off the charts. I mean, I wasn't charging her, so she really had no reason not to continue, but she didn't continue. So then she, she came back like she was okay now i'm serious she got serious and this was this was in the spring of this year 2024 well it's now july 21st so it's been i'm going to say it's been several months since she came back and, and was and seemed like she was serious about stopping uh this problem is that is that roughly accurate summary so the time stamps is a little bit off um I think when I first contacted you, it was in, it probably was in 2023, but the reason I missed the call was because um, you went out of town at some point for like two weeks or so. Yeah. And I had just forgot when you came back and we were supposed to get on a call when you came back and I forgot. And okay. that's what had happened. Oh, so it was more innocent than intentional. Yeah. Um, now, and looking at so I'm, what's really relevant uh, is is what you've done this year, and you were having in in early May of this year, two month a little over two months ago, uh, you were having a bad incident at least one a day. How many? bad incidents do you have how frequently do you, do you have one a day one a week one or, or none or what we have some because we just established you still have one in five conversations is still a problem so um how frequently uh is that is that just when you go to work or or what when is it with i'm gonna be honest with my boyfriend <laughs> uh, huh? I'm thinking. Um, so, with your boyfriend, um, is that daily? Yeah, it's just Lee is something about it. It's like I cannot talk to him properly. <laughs> Well, that's crazy. We're going to stop it. And he's and he's the my challenge right now. You know, he's my challenge right now. Okay, so, so 
Uh, how do you do on phones? On the phone, I am actually improving. I am. So you're pretty good on the phone. Yeah, on the phone, I'm improving it. Look, uh, Akini, the bottom line is, when they say stuttering is incurable and you got to accept it, if you can't find a way to stop having bad incidents, they are correct. Yeah. Now, can you find a way to have, stop that incident? You absolutely can. But you must do what we ask you to do. And that requires um, not only determination and practice, uh, it, it takes really mental force. Yeah. Like, I'll give you an extreme example that would be very difficult for you, me, or any human to do. If, so, if somebody's doing something to me that's extremely painful, putting a, a ice pick in my arm or something, or a slowly or something, um, whatever you can think of, If you or I had this happening to us and we had enough control over our minds, we could not feel, we could make ourselves not feel the pain. Pain is an illusion. Yeah. A neurologist said that, I didn't. I, I, I have heard that before. Yeah. And so when, when well, let, let me jump forward to stuttering. Stuttering is not pain, and it's, it's simply a habit. It's also an illusion. There's nothing to it. There is no organic reason. There is no genetic reason for you or anyone to stutter. Or I'm gonna, I'll say 99 plus percent because there are always exceptions, but almost everybody there's no reason to do this. So it requires a degree of concentration. I'm gonna go back to what, how much would you have to concentrate to not feel the pain of an ice pick going slowly into your arm or your back or your old thigh or something? A great deal, I don't know how much. Is it possible? Yes. All right, now to block the stutter habit, is much easier than not feeling pain from an ice pick, but it requires a similar sort of concentration and focus on the solutions. When you focus enough of your brain, if you use enough for, it's kind of like you're in the gym. There are some weights you can curl easily, and there are some weights that they're pretty hard, but you can still do it. And there's some weights that you can't curl at all. Now, the amount of force it takes to curl, I'm going to say, on a, from a, a light weight that's some resistance to a medium weight that that's, takes quite a bit of force, but you can still do it, to one that you can't lift. None of your stuttering habit reaches that level. None of it. Everything is either light, light pressure or medium pressure. But in the case, so we can focus for the moment on your boyfriend because that's where you're having a problem. And once you solve the problem with your boyfriend, the same methodology that you use will work in every other situation you're ever placed. You could go to your company's annual Christmas party, walk in the door, and they could say, Akini, your master of ceremonies today. The master of ceremonies died. Uh, go up to the stage right now and introduce yourself and introduce the 10 people on the platform. You know them all. And, 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 and be the MC of the program. You could do that. You could have a phone in one hand and be on the phone while you're doing it. And you could have your arm around your boyfriend 
and you're and we and you're talking to him as much as to the crowd, and you could still do it. And not only that, if you stay with this program, you can not only do it, you can enjoy doing it. And that's a fact. You can love to speak. How many times do have I said I love to speak? I love to say my name Lee. I love to talk to crowds. I love to talk under pressure. The greater the pressure, the better I speak. How many times have I said that to myself? Thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So don't you get tired of it? No, not really. And I don't stutter. Hey, you're in the dark. Can you can you get a little bit of light? I can't see your face. Oh, you don't I care if I see your face, do you? You don't care. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like other people get benefit from it. Right here? Yeah, that's better. Okay. That's better. So... So what, what this boils down to, Akini, is the amount, the pressure, the, of the focus of your brain. You know how when you're, when you're trying to learn something and um, there's all levels of trying, you'd like to know it, but it's not critical, or you, you need to know it, but you're not interested in it, or... You love this data and you're dying to know it and you want to master it, you want to memorize it and you want to never forget it. They're like, those are three different levels of concentration. I'll also use the word force. Now, for you to stop having this problem with your boyfriend, you can stop it right now in this session and never do it again as long as you live. If you will use, if you will concentrate enough on the solution and on the intensity of your effort to focus on the solution, you can and will stop the stuttering. Now, I know that that's true, but if you don't believe it, we got a problem. If you don't believe what I'm saying, if you think I'm just full of malarkey or that it works for me but not for you, we got a different level of problem. So I want I want you to tell me, do you believe what I said is true? I 100% believe you. Okay, because it is true. And so the, the trick is we got to prove, we, uh, meaning you, yep. uh, got to prove it, and I can tell you how, but you got you to gotta be the one to do it. Now, <clears throat> when you talk to your, let's, so let's get specific. What are we going to do specifically with your boyfriend? Let's deal with that. All right. So what yeah. am I going to do with him? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. So when you have a problem with your boyfriend, does it usually begin with a block on an individual word? Yes. Like Georgia or something like that. It starts with an individual word? Yes. Like when I first try and say something to him, I might get stuck on that first word. Like when I'm first trying to talk. Okay. Now, that's the easiest kind of stuttering to overcome. But sometimes it can change, though. I might, I might not block on the first word. I might block on the second or third word. Okay. Know? That's fine. That's a... So we have two issues. The first one is individual words. And the second one is conversation. Yeah. Now, everything I'm going to say, you've heard before. But for whatever reason, you haven't been able to do it or you haven't embraced it. I'm not going to say you don't care. I think you do care. But your level of focus isn't intense enough. Now, let's talk about individual words. That is the, a very, that's, that's the easiest thing to be. How do we do it? We use the crutches. Crutches one through eight. One through eight, yeah. And, and you can use, you can use um, one or two or three or four or all eight at different times. I, of recently in the last six months or 
year, I've been focusing on mainly on crutches four and eight. Now, a lot of people love crutch number one, drop the first letter. You know, if I want to say Georgia, I say Georgia. Uh, I live in Georgia, and most people will get it that it's Georgia. Or I live in, I want to say Missouri, I say Missouri. Or I live in Switzerland, or I live in London, or I live in New York. I dropped the first letter, and that I, I, that's the most popular crutch. It, it's not my favorite, but it's it's yeah. both, a lot of people use it, and there's nothing wrong with it, and it does work in, in some situations. Uh, yeah. Using a synonym, similar word or phrase, uh, you know, it, that's that takes you. You may not be able to think of a similar word. Or, or phrase fast enough to bail you out. Some people love that and it's easy for them and they do it all the time and they have no problem with it. That's the third one, you know, is skip a word or spell it. Well, you, you can't skip every word. You can skip some, but, but you can't skip them all. You don't want to spell everything. You can't spell names. That's very easy to do. So I say L E E Lee. You know, I spell it, I use my hand, and I say it at the same time, L-E-E, Lee, or Akini, you know, uh, I, I spell I spell that, A-K-E-N-E-E, -E -E, Akini, you know, I can do that, and that that, wor that works pretty well. Crutch number, cr I'm going to skip to five and six, because I'm not going to stay with them. Five is tell a story about the word. Somebody asked me my name, and I tell them a little family history, and then I throw my name in. As I talk about it, um, crutch six says change the thought or rephrase the thing. Well, I change the thought. I just I don't answer the question, or maybe I talk about something else and I work my way into it. These all work, but they're more they're more circuitous and less reliable. Crutch number four is always reliable. It will always work. Uh, I think crutch eight will too. And for some people, crutch seven. But let's take crutch four individually. You know what it is. You insert a word or a sound. Look, Akini. I say to people that I talk to, like Ebros is an example, or Sean from Israel. These guys, or or Fatimadov a few months ago, basically stutter on every single word. And and I say, can you make? Can you can you do this? Uh and they say, yes. And I say, well, do it. And they do it. And I say, then you can speak. How's that? If I can make a sound, I can speak. How is that? Because the second I make the sound, I break the block every time. And if I will hold the sound into the word and use the sound as like a conveyor belt or a stream that carries my words, then I have no problem. If I want to say a keeny and I'm stuck on uh, 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 I'm stuck on the uh, or I'm stuck on the K, either way. Um, if I'm humming, uh, I can drop the K and I can still say it. Uh, Gini, you say, well, that's not really pronouncing my name correctly. I know that. But I can, in the case of a name, I prefer spelling it. I really do. Yeah. But um, let's let's say we're talking about algebra. Uh, algebra. You know, I'm I'm going to hold, and I can use an mm sound just as well as a ah, uh, like mm, Missouri mm, Methodist. Mm, my name is. Mm, what do you want to do? Mm, let's have lunch. I'm humming. Question. So sometimes, so I like to use crutch four too, but uh, it doesn't happen too often. But sometimes I find myself when I insert the word, like say um, I might I might um, drag on the sound too long by 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 accident. I don't know that you can drag on the sound too long. I don't know that that's possible. Uh, my name is that sound and can't say the word. <laughs> well, you're think you're thinking about the word instead of the sound. 
Okay. You've got to think about the sound, okay. not the word. Okay. You know the word you're going to say. Your brain knows. Yeah. And, and if your brain chooses another word, so what? You don't care. Right. Let your brain do the word picking in each case. Uh, so look, you the R of M sound, but look, that's one approach to crush four. Yeah. I you can't hold the sound too long, but you can always think about the word. But but you don't think about the word. You think about the sound. This is part of the discipline. And you might even modulate the sound. Uh, I'm, I'm making it go up and down. Uh, uh, my name is. Uh, I can go down. Um, uh, my name is. I can go down like that and come back up. Uh, or I can just go down and do. Uh, my name is. Uh, my name is. I can, I'm combining it with crutch eight modulation. Look, the only way to stutter is to focus on the problem. And when you don't focus on anything, your habit focuses you on the problem. That is the problem. The habit focuses you on the problem. So you have to overpower the habit. you got to think about it hard and push it. Now, Crutch 4 also says, say any other word. If you're stuck, I don't care what the word is you're stuck on. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Or what the sounds are. You can always say anything except that one word, one syllable, one letter. And you can say anything else you want. When you're thinking the one word, one syllable, one letter, that's it. And so any other word will work. Any other word, any other word. Doesn't matter what the word is. So you don't have to think about a word. Say any word, it doesn't matter. Now I suggest, and I've done this to you before, I've suggested that you think about what I call a conjunctive word, one that joins things together, like and, or well, or so. Well, my name is Lee. Well, Lee is my name. Well, Aguini is my name. So, Aguini is my name. Say after me. Well, Aguini is my name. Well, Aguini is my name. Okay. So, Georgia is where I live. Um, um, I missed so, that. So, Georgia is where I live. So, Georgia is where I live. And Switzerland is there. And Switzerland is there. Now, as long as you hold that that the word you've inserted, you can use any word you want, okay. and it will it will work. Now, but you have to practice that, and you've got to do it. Look, I would say this with your boyfriend, and so this is, you know, while you're in this, I'll call it healing stage. Your goal is not to appear speech disabled at all, not on any word or any situation. Now, to accomplish this, common sense tells us the less risks you take, the better. That is to say, don't say unnecessary things for the moment. Okay. You know, until you get a handle on this thing, yeah. talk less. Say it in less words. If somebody says, if somebody says, are you hungry? You don't give them a speech. All right. Say yes, and you nod your head. Okay. If they say, do you like to stutter? You say no, and you nod your head as you do it. You, and you don't say anything else. You say, you're telling me not to talk to my boyfriend. No, I'm telling you for the moment to keep the heat low on yourself to talk less. I didn't say don't talk. I said talk less. Now, for the first word, if you start with a sound or with any other word than, than the problem word, you'll be able to do it. You'll be able to talk. Now, the, the second thing, so that's, that's what crutch four says. Crutch eight says you can, on first words, you can modulate your way in. So let's modulate if you say after me, a keeny. A keeny. 
Uh, Kini. Uh, Kini. Georgia. 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 Now, as long as you come out of your speech register, what you do when you go up or when you go down, you will not stutter. Okay. You will not stutter. So basically, you will not stutter. So basically, um, I should talk less in my actual voice. Yes, it, yes, for the moment. Right. I mean, we may, we may be talking a week or two, I don't know, of your life. You know, so what? You know, you want to get on top. You want to, you want to, you're, you're not finished until you love to speak to your boyfriend and everybody else. Exactly. And, and if you stay with this program, you're going to do it. You're going to make it. I can't tell you what day it is or what month even, but you're going to do it. So going high and low, high and back to normal, or low and back to normal, will get by the problem with first words. That's crutch eight. So those are two ways. Now, crutch four said two things, insert a sound or insert another word. Any other word. I mean, if somebody asked me my name, I could say Pizza Lee. What? What is your name? Pizza? No, I was just thinking about a pizza. I don't say that. You know, look, laugh at yourself, make fun of it. None of this is a criminal offense. Yeah. And then none of it's intentional. And you're not hurting anybody. You're trying to handle a problem. We don't know how you got it, and we don't care because we're going to get rid of it. So that's what we're going to do. And and. It's okay, and when you get rid of it, you'll have accomplished, you'll have overcome a major adversity that a lot of people say can't be overcome, and you overcame it. Yeah. So this gives you some mental strength to deal with some other problems in your life that you would not otherwise never have had without doing this process that you're doing here. So in any event, so you've got, you can, the easiest ways out, insert a sound or another word, and link them, or modulate, go high and then normal, or go low and then normal. That ends the first word problem, any of those things. There are other things you can do, we've mentioned some, but here's here's another one that works very well, in my opinion, uh, okay. it's very simple to do. You can whisper the problem word or the first syllable or letter of the problem word, when you can't say it out loud, if you're trying to say Georgia and you're stuck on the G, you can still whisper Georgia. Could you hear me? Georgia. Yes. Yeah. Now, if I say, if I say Georgia, I can then say Georgia. Georgia, say that. Georgia, oh wait, no, 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 no. You gotta say, you whisper it first. Okay. Georgia. 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 Okay. Say, Keeney. Uh, I'm gonna say Keeney instead of uh, Keeney. It's a lot. Three syllables is a lot. I'm gonna say Keeney. Two syllables. Keeney. Say that. Keeney. Okay. I'm gonna say Swiss Switzerland. Sw Switzerland. Switzerland. So I don't have to say uh, what you got to say that I'm trying to full, get. You I don't to have to say the, the uh, full word at first. No, you don't. Okay. Any part of it will work. It's okay. another way of breaking the block. If I want to say London, I say I say L O N and then London. 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 OK, I want to hear the L O N. OK. Hold on. London. Okay. 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 New York. New York. Did you say new New York? You should say. No, I said I was new say, and new say New York. Okay. You say new New York. Okay. New York. New York. So look, the breathing. We don't teach breathing because breathing is natural. But we do we do hold our breathing. We push our breathing 
through our words to hold tones. That's part of linking. And it's, it's like singing without a melody. And we do do that. So I'm asking you, and I'll get to that in a minute. Linking is the key to all fluency for stutterers. Linking is the most important element for all stutterers. Now, okay, so what we just did is we used crutch seven whispering as another way to say a first word. And I can say it so soft, so softly that the listener can't hear it. Guinea, or, or I say, London, Lee, I said, Lee, I said, I whispered Lee. And then I said, Lee, Lee, but if you weren't listening to, to hear me do it, you wouldn't even know I did it. Lee, CC, Switzerland, London, you, you can't, you wouldn't even hear what I'm doing. And your boyfriend won't hear it either. He may hear it once in a while and he won't notice or care or remember what you did at all, period. Yeah. So, because he's not. He's not focused on your speech except to notice that it's got a problem and he wishes you didn't have it for your sake and his. That's fine. But beyond that, he could care less and he doesn't notice it. It's not his problem. He's not thinking about it. You are. He's not. And one of the things you've got to say constantly in all your spare time, I love to speak to I love to speak to my boyfriend. I love to speak to my boyfriend. I'm so fluent with my boyfriend. I can't wait to speak to my boyfriend. I won't hold back when I speak to my boyfriend. I love to speak to my boyfriend. It's easy to speak to my boyfriend. It's fun to speak to my boyfriend. These are the things you say all the time. And the more you say them, the sooner they will become your reality. You make them your reality by the amount of repetitions you do. Okay, so, so con, all right, so that's individual words. Crutch, we are focused on crutch four, inserting a sound, ah, uh, or mm, or inserting a word, well, so, and, or modulating, going high, low, uh, can you, uh, can you, Coach Lee, Coach Lee, we're going to come out of our voice range and go high or low. That'll work. Or we can use crutch seven and whisper part of the word, any part we like, and then say the word, connecting it. So those are those are multiple ways, two ways in crutch four. Modulation is the third way. Whispering part or all the word is a fourth way. I find those to be the four easiest, fastest, most reliable of crutches one through eight uh, for saying individual words. Now, that doesn't solve your problem with the conversation. It only solves your problem with the first word. Now, you must practice this the entire time you're talking to your boyfriend. Uh, and you say, well, I don't I don't I, do. Do you ever have a conversation with him where you have no problem whatsoever? It's just easy, the whole thing. Um, yes, but it's not a whole lot. OK, it's like with him, my speech is the worst is what I've. Is what I, I, I understand. I understand. And in a way that's it kills that's me, it, you it, and it's, it kills me, Lee, it kills me. <laughs> well, it's going to go away, so don't worry about it. It's not going to kill you for long. <laughs> and that if you do this, yeah. if you'll do this, but you got to do it. Now, I, I I did say, I did begin by saying, talk less. Yeah. Now, that's it's, up to you. I'll, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I mean, say, what's, say what you need to say, but don't that's use, you know, don't, don't be a lecturer. You're not in that position yet. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to talk less. That will help. It will make it easier for you to use these methods. The second general thing is talk in a soft voice. When you talk to him, almost whisper. Can you talk to me now in a soft voice? 
Yes, I can. If this tell me, tell me something about your childhood in a soft voice. Okay, um, something about my childhood. I don't know why. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. Okay. When I was in. That's not a soft voice. That's not soft enough. Okay. No. Okay, hold on. Then whisper. If you if you have trouble with a soft voice, whisper. Right. But you got to whisper enough for me to hear you. But go ahead. Okay. When I was can you can you hear me? Yes. Okay. When I was in first grade. I watched this boy break his arm on the playground. <laughs> how, did he, how did he do it? <clears throat> Me and him were playing, and he fell off the slide. Okay. Yeah. And he tried to blame me. Now, I'll bet you if you whispered to your boyfriend, you wouldn't stutter. And after a while, you could talk a little louder than just whispering into your soft voice, which you don't seem to have right now. I'm in my soft voice, not in my whisper. This is my soft voice. You can work your way from a whisper slowly to a soft voice and still not stutter. My point is, when you talk less and when you talk in a whisper or soft voice, it will be, you will find almost no need to use crutches or speech plan or other speech plan. You will be able to talk to your boyfriend indefinitely right now. If you do those two things, don't say anything under, that's not needed. Uh, and talk in a soft, talk in a whisper. And gradually, don't do it in, 10 minutes or maybe in one day or two days even, you can gradually talk on a little louder voice, gradually. But you should do it less and soft. Well, you gotta remember what, what, I'm, what I told you to start with. As long as you allow yourself to have bad incidents. I will. You are going to stutter for the rest of your days. And I don't want you to do that. And you don't have to do that. Yeah. But only you can stop it. No one else can stop it. It's up to you. I stopped it. A lot of people have stopped it. You know these people. You witnessed some of them do it. You're actually witnessing it, Sam. Oh. You see people doing what I'm asking you to do. So you know, you're not a freak. You're like the rest of us. We're all 99% identical. 99 plus percent identical, for Lord's sake. Almost everything I can do, you can do. Almost everything you can do, I can do. That's a fact. Yeah. I may not do it as well as you. You may not do some things as well as I do, but I can basically do it, and you can basically do what I do. That's the way it is. We're all cut from the same cloth. And that's a good thing. Because nobody's way out ahead. I mean, somebody can sing better or dance better or whatever, but that's, so what? Yeah. The basic stuff is we can all sing and dance. So, fine. Have fun and do what you do well, and I'll do what I do well, and fine. So, that's it. So you got to talk less all the time. You got to write that word down, less. And you got to write the word soft down, which probably means for you, whisper until you have a soft voice. 
I did not hear you having a soft voice. So I'm telling you to whisper. I'm asking you to whisper until you have a soft voice. Okay. If you do those two things, do them in this conversation with me now. If you do these two things, this problem is going to shrink fast. You could conceive of your goal in every conversation that you have with your boyfriend is to have zero bad incidents. Zero. Oh. That's your goal. And you can do it and you can start doing it today, this day, when you hang up the Skype. You can do it from now on. There's no time required. Okay, so that's those are the two general rules, less and so on. The specific rules are use crutches, use crutches, you know, five, seven, or five, eight, lot modulation, and seven, whispering. Um, on individual words, just generally. Use those. If you do, you should not have, you should not encounter any words that you can't say. You say, well, I can't do it. I still screwed up. Well, that's because you don't know them well enough. So focus on one. Focus on one till you get it down. Um, maybe that's, I'm not inside your brain and everybody's brain is a little bit different. So what resonates to you may be different than what resonates to me. You know, uh, humming may be easier for me than you. I don't know. But uh, basically, with practice, you can do any of these things. I have a question. Yeah. So when you practice the crutches while trying to read, What's the best way to do that? Like, do you think I should um, do it like per paragraph, per page, or should I just focus on one? I, I think I think the crutches. You're not really practicing them when you read aloud. The, oh. the purpose of reading aloud is different. You oh, okay. read aloud because number one, you want to hear your voice right. being fluent. Like when you talk to me, you talk as fluently as I do. You realize that, don't you? Yeah, I talk like that alone too. You talk like you've never had a problem in your life, like you're an actress just jerking the chain of this old fool in Bermuda, you know, to see why he says all these crazy things to people. You know, that's the way you come off. If there's some strangers watching you, they don't think you stutter, they don't believe you. I believe you because I think you're honest, you know, and, and I think I've heard, maybe I've heard you stutter, it's been a while, I don't remember. You but, heard me, uh, I, I had a block bad the last time we spoke, so you saw me. Okay, well, I, I, I can't, you know something, I talk to so many stutterers, it's a, it's a mask blur, you know, so there, yeah. I, I remember your face, I remember your name, but I, 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 you know, I can't do much more than that. So, in any event, you, you you sound like in this conversation today you've had no need for any crutch or anything else and the day is going to come when you realize that talking to your boyfriend is the same as talking to me yeah. or the same as talking to your dog or your little niece who's three years old and it's all the same yeah and, and when, when you realize that, it's, the whole problem is going to go away and you're going to wonder why in the world you ever had a problem. Talking is not holding back. Fluency is not holding back. It's letting your brain do the work. Your brain breathes for you constantly. You don't have to tell it what to do. And when you speak, you don't have to tell your brain anything to be fluent. You just let your brain do the work, period, end of story. Now you can improve it by speaking slower, by thinking extreme pronunciation, by smiling, um, by using stops. You can make your speech a lot better yeah. than other people's for sure, but you don't have to. But the point is you don't think about words when you speak. Don't think words. Think about feelings, emotions, expressions, your smile, pronunciation, 
passion, being convincing. You know, don't think about words. Forget the words. Your brain knows the words. Right. Your brain is not the problem. Interfering with your brain is the problem. When you think words, you're interfering with your brain. Don't do it. Stop it. It's just a habit. Stop doing it. Talk before you have time to think. If you combine talking less and softly, that's great. And look, when you talk with your boyfriend, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to add a third element. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say, um, gesticulate. Uh -huh. Allow your body to have natural movements as I'm doing right now. When I use my hands at all, I'm forcing myself to use them. I'm thinking about using my hands. Right. That's, but that, when I think about using my hands, I'm not thinking about stuttering. I'm not thinking about planning words. Exactly. I'm thinking about my hands. If I want my head to move around as I talk, that's another distraction. Of what? It takes my mind away from the habit. The habit is I stuttered when I thought nothing. That's when you stutter. And you feel pressure, because of, usually because of the audience. It's an authority figure. It's a group. It's right. a phone. It's a stranger. It's something foreign to you. It's dangerous somehow. And so that's why we do it. I want you to gesticulate a little bit. I want you to think about, let your body have some natural movements to it when you speak. Don't be, you're not a mannequin. You're not a, a statue, you're a person. Yeah. So let yourself go, you know, just be a girl, be cute, be fun, smile a lot. You got a great smile, use it, you know, be happy, busy, keep that smile working. You know, that smile will help you with your speech a great deal. Your smile by itself. You know, just smiling while you talk can be a huge... I don't know which trigger is going to make it easier for you. you got to find it. But all these things are triggers. They all work. So if you talk less, that's going to reduce your risk. If you talk in a soft voice, it makes your brain think, you're almost not talking. It doesn't need to be on duty and screwing up your speech, the habit. You, you're smoking it by the habit. The habit does, it's not tuned in to another voice register. It's not used to that. It could get used to it, but it takes a while. And so you can use the soft voice, you know, for some time before it, the habit would encroach on it. And you can use this um, talking less, talking softly, yeah. and get your hands working a little bit and move around a little bit when you talk. And, you know, and hey, you want to you wanna throw a smile in there? You want to really knock them dead? Your boyfriend, anybody loves a smile, I don't care who they are. Yeah. Everybody loves a smile. And you got a great smile. Use it. It takes 12 <laughs> muscles to smile. It takes thought to smile. Yes. So use it. Use those 12 muscles. Use keep keep your brain busy with positive stuff. So what are you doing? You're, you're writing this stuff down and, and you're making a list of things here. Uh, Less soft. I'm going to say instead of gesticulate, I'm going to write the word motion. Anything that moves, your head, your shoulders, your hands. Wait, so is this supposed to be a new speech plan? These, these are things that, that you can try immediately. Less soft motion smile yeah and i i would i would say look i would like you to try that and then 
Also, uh, I'll, I'll say your pressure speech plan is, is still um, our basic one, which is short, link, and stop. And, yeah. and I will, well, this is under, the greater the pressure, this is where you end up. If you do this properly, you won't need, you won't need your pressure plan. You won't need it if you do this properly. If, if this doesn't work, you're doing this. Now, okay. I want you to tell me, to, I want you to define short and speak to me right now in short increments. Okay. Saying what? Anything? Speak to me now in, sh well. Oh, you said uh, define. I don't, know. I don't know which to have you do first. You know, uh, I may get another call from a guy in India. If I do, I've got to hang up. But I'll talk to you. If, if he doesn't call, I'll keep talking to you. So uh, maybe let, let, let's, let's work on this for a minute. I want to ask you to write, write these things down. Okay. And put them in front of you. And I want you to answer questions doing what's on this list. Flesh, saw, motion, smile. Okay, got it. Okay, so I'm going to ask you questions. So, uh, have you always, were you born in Georgia? Yes, I was. So, um, Tell me about your family, you know, parents, siblings, and so forth. Um, I come from an immigrant family. My uh, my parents are immigrants. From where? Um, from the Caribbean. Okay. Yeah, my mom is from Antigua, and my dad is from Saint Kitts. Okay. Yep. All right. And siblings? Yeah, my um, my, I have four brothers, four older brothers, and they're also from Antigua. Okay. I'm the only one. I I was the only one born here. <laughs> okay. Do any of them stutter? No. Okay. Nobody in my family stuttered either. I have, I can only think of one person in my family that does, and that's my uncle, but his isn't uh, severe. Oh, soft, sorry. His isn't severe. Uh, what does your boyfriend do? It's, it's, a, it's a commercial cleaning business. What do you like to do for hobbies, pastimes, sports? Um, I like to read, honestly. Yeah. What kind of reading? Um, the main books I like to read are mainly books about um, mindset and lifestyle, just trying to improve my life. I haven't seen any motions at all, nor have I seen an ongoing smile. Why not? Okay, sorry. I was talking, I just lost my smile naturally, so I need to hold it. Okay. It takes thought to do this, and the thought that it takes is what keeps you from stuttering. Okay. You don't need to, you don't have the pressure of stuttering with me, but you do with your boyfriend. So yeah. you need to do this now so that you okay. can do it when you're talking to your boyfriend. Okay. And for the motion, you want me to just use my hands? Yes, and, 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 let, and let your head, your shoulders, your torso, 
just do what it wants to do. Okay. And is this voice soft enough? Uh, do I not really. Like no, it's not. Oh my! I don't know how to do soft voice. Well then, okay. you can you can go to whisper and and okay. you can tell your boyfriend. This insane person in Bermuda has asked me to whisper. So I'm gonna whisper and tell you, bro. You know, now, right now, and quite a bit. I'm gonna whisper. I'm keeping my voice soft. Look, Akini, the minute you whisper, you may you may find the entire problem with your boyfriend goes away. Yeah. With the minute you whisper. But <clears throat> we're not going to whisper for the rest of your life. No, I don't know. I so, can't. Well, you could if you somebody if you had cancer and they operated on your throat and all was left was a whisper, which happens to some people. You'd be God forbid for the rest of your life, and it would be fine. People would still people would still hear you. You wouldn't stutter, and that's that. Now, but it's so. But it's it's a combination of thinking. Am I talking less? Am I whispering? Okay. Am I using solutions? Am I right. am I smiling? I don't know. Am I? I I'm trying to do these things. I'm trying to do all of them. So Do you and your boyfriend, you and or your boyfriend, do any sports? Oh, we work out together or we go walk on the mountain. Okay. Uh, uh, <clears throat> um, have you ever heard of Stone Mountain? No. Okay. It's a, it's a mountain. Here in Georgia. Okay. And do you, do you mountain climb? Do you climb the mountain? We don't. I, I wouldn't say we climb it, we just walk it. Hike it. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, do you live with your family? No. So we'll call this your general speech plan. And we'll call this your pressure speech plan. Pressure, okay. When this doesn't work, you do this. Now, the general speech plan, okay. The general speech plan. This is a long, this is something. You master this, you make it work with your boyfriend. And to think, you can see already, it's not easy to think and do all four of these things at one time. No. So when you can do it, guess what? Your mind is going to be busy. It's going to be blocking the stutter habit, you understand? Your mind can't, you can't, it can only do so much. People say, well, I multitask. No, they don't. What they really do is they do one thing better and the other things worse. When, when you do this, you may find, you may find that talking less solves your problem. You may find that simply talking in a whisper voice solves your problem. You may find that simply using your hands solves your problem. And, and, and letting your letting your whole body be involved. Look how I'm involved in what I'm saying. I don't look like a freak or something. I'm talking to you. So this guy, the guy's very animated when he talks. Fine. Doesn't hurt you. Doesn't hurt me. Doesn't hurt anybody. I'm involved. I want you to be involved. Now, smiling, okay. smiles all the time. Nothing wrong with that. 
I like a story. The, the, the only issue with that, um, sometimes I have, um, what's the word? Um, involuntary body movements when I'm trying to talk. You're not, How do I, you will not have any involuntary body movements if you were thinking this. Okay. The involuntary body movements come from what? Fear? Yeah. Fear of embarrassing yourself? Yeah. When you're thinking this, you will have no fear of embarrassing yourself. Okay. The great metaphysician said, evil cannot enter a mind already full. Your job is to keep your mind full, occupied, busy. You look at, you carry this around with you, and you have it in front of you, especially when you're talking to your boyfriend. Put it right in front of you. I'm looking at it now as I talk to you. Am I talking less? Am I using my soft voice or whisper? Am I using some motions? Am I smiling? You gotta do, you gotta practice every one of these things. You gotta do it all the time. And it's your general speech. Your only time off, you do this. Now, let's practice this for a few minutes. I don't think that you've demonstrated dominion over this yet, and I don't, that's not an insult. It takes time. It's like in, you're learning a new procedure, some new procedure, so what? Okay, so you, you can learn. You know, it takes a little time, it takes a little practice. So learn it. That's all you're going to do it. End of story. <laughs> so now we're going to do short link and stop. How do you define short? And you're now into short link stop. How do you define short? One to three words or so. Everything. Is that you right? say. Yes. Okay. Everything you say. From now on, until we stop, is short, link, and strong. Everything is short. One to three words, or so. Mm -hmm. What does or so mean? Or so means it doesn't have to be exactly an exact amount of words. Exactly. And it could be five words, even six or seven, and probably not more than that, but you're not counting words. You don't count words. All right. Stop. All right. What does the word stop mean? To stop completely. <laughs> to, uh, to, to say the one to, to three words or so, and then stop for a one to two count. One to two seconds. Okay. And what is one second? One thousand one. That's right. When I stop one thousand one for one second, you can tell what I'm doing. It doesn't sound strange at all. It's my way of speaking under pressure. The word link is the most important word in carrying conversations. The word link is the most oh, yeah. important word in conversation. You got to carry this with you too. Now, what does link mean? Link will be defined as conjoining our words together as one with no break in between the words. What is the greatest way 
to guarantee you the easiest way, the most certain way to guarantee linking. Humming. That's right. Humming through the words as I am doing now. Can you do this? Yes, I can. If I'm doing it right now, it's almost like singing. Right. Put your hand on your abdomen, and as you do it, okay. you should feel your stomach can harden involuntarily on its own motion. It will harden every time you link your words. If your stomach doesn't harden, you're not humming through your words. If you hum <laughs> through your words, you cannot stutter. Right. It's impossible. Okay. So you so need to on whenever you have a problem, you need to stop talking. Take a two count. And start again, short, link, stop. So now, tell me about the best vacation you ever had using your pressure speech plan. Okay. Well, I've had um, two vacations. Mm -hmm in my life that uh, I enjoyed. But the recent one was in May. Um, I went on a cruise to the Bahamas. Um, and I really enjoyed that cruise. <laughs> I, had a, I had a good time. What kind of boat were you on? A uh, carnival. So it's a big, it's a big that, yeah, it was a big cruise ship. Yep. Okay. Okay. Did you swim? Um. Yeah, I did. Um, we swam in a Nassau with the fish. We went snorkeling. Great. And we um, we also swam in the pool on the on the ship. What was the biggest fish you saw when snorkeling? Mm, I don't really see a big fish. Okay. Thank, thank, thank not. <laughs> I only went snorkeling once with my wife and my two younger sons. And we saw a barracuda about six feet long. Oh, no. And he just stared at us. I don't think now they, we're us for, you know, they don't, I don't think they view us as prey, you know, or something. I don't know. He just ignored us. What about his? Thank God. And I got out of the water. <laughs> that's, that's not my cup of tea, you know. Not, yeah. You know. If he uh, smelled anything, like he smelled like blood yeah. or anything, would he attack? I don't know. I, oh. I, don't, I wouldn't want to test him. <laughs> like a shark. <laughs> right, look, you've got a lot of work to do on your own here. You got two plans, and you got to practice. Two, I have well. two plans to uh, practice now. Okay. And I think I think that will help, though. I think the second plan should help me. Look, if you'll do them, it'll solve the problem. Right. If you don't do them, well, you're back where you started. Yeah. Everything comes down to what you do, not what I say. Exactly. I can't change anything in your life. Only you can do that. But you so, help change. You, you, I, you, I, I, you help. I give you a map, <laughs> but you got to follow the map. I give you a map to the gold mine, but you got to follow the map. Yeah. You know, dig up the gold. So 
It's up to you. And if I were you, I would carry these around with me. And I wouldn't say one word, not one, to anyone that I wasn't following one of these two plans. I'm going to write them down on a flashcard and keep them on me. Not one word. Yep. So, when will I see you again to check your progress? Um, we can do in two weeks again. Um, All right. Let me see. So, August. Looks like August. Fourth is no, I'm lying. Because that's yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So August fourth. That's the next Sunday. Okay, when uh let's see. You called me at when did you call me at eleven my time? I think it was eleven AM your time, ten AM yes. my time. Okay. Is your time an hour ahead of ours? Okay. Okay, so uh if that's right, you're you're an hour ahead, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so yeah, so yeah. That's right. Okay, so um I'll see you then. Look, it's all about you. It's all about what you do. Okay. You know, either, you either take it to heart and you really want to beat it and you work at it, or you're just kidding yourself. Yeah. You're treading water. From here on, look, you should, every day, you should feel some improvement. And in a week, you should feel a lot of improvement. You're doing your daily mind training twice a day, right? Yes. And you're doing your reading aloud with passion. And um, I think it's time. I think what I, I need to, I think I need to change my affirmations. I think it's about my Well, why don't you send me what you have now and send okay. me... Uh, and send me what you think you would like to have. Um, if, yeah, I think because I've been saying the same ones for a few months now, you know. So I heard that it's good to like change them every every so often. So, well, um, change for change's sake, I don't know. Change to address issues. To address to specific. To be more specific. Yeah. Be more specific. Well, I think I think you should send me what you're doing now, and then say, "Here's what I propose to do." That's the second list, and they all should be, of course, in the present tense. Right. And and they should be obviously positive, not negative. It's not what you won't do. It's not I will quit smoking. It's I hate the smell of smoke. Right. Smoking stains my teeth, etc. Smoking gives right. me cancer. You know, these are the ways we fight things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll look for your email on that. Okay. Right. Otherwise, I'll see you in the funny papers. All right, I'll see you in two weeks. Uh, or at Sam, or at Sam. Uh, oh yeah, and I'll see you, you, uh, you this Saturday. Sam. And the more practice sessions you can do, the faster you'll beat it. Okay, I will. And watching other coaching videos helps. Watching master classes helps. All this stuff helps. It's immersion. You're trying to like learn a foreign language. Don't speak English. Speak the foreign language all the time. Never get. You never go off duty. You're never off duty with these plans. You're never off duty. Never. Not one word. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.